So I decided to make a smoothie and basically put everything I can from the fridge and kind of make it taste nice. But at the end, the taste test, I would not recommend mixing everything that I've shown here. So this is my evening routine after work. It's currently Tuesday and I just drove back an hour from work. So I've got football training later on and I'm going to be doing a few stretches, but I need to get my football training clothes out of the dryer so I can get ready for training. So I've got training later on, but I wanted to go through my training routine before I actually get to training, what I do in terms of stretching, warm up. I try to incorporate this as much as I can, but obviously I just need to stay a lot more consistent. Um, it's gym session and then it's football, so I don't want to be too sore when I go to the gym. So a quick stretching exercise, that's the main bit really. So what I usually do is I just get this tiny massage ball, roll it in the ball of my feet. It feels so good. It releases a lot of tension and keeps you on your toes, quite literally. Guys, if you want to bulletproof your hips, then I really recommend this exercise. It will change your life. And if you don't want spaghetti ankles, then do this exercise daily. Thank me later. Right, so I'm here now, New York Stadium for the gym session. Excited. Gym session now. It's raining a lot, so I've got my raincoat for later on session. But what's that saying? No rain, no gain. No rain, no gain. So, yeah. Let's get some strength and conditioning. These two are super important to prevent any injuries. So if your body's strong, you're able to play on the pitch and you're not you're not gonna be shoved off or you know too weak to be able to run at pace 
with pace and with intensity so it's always key to do some strength and conditioning start off with your own body weight and then incorporate some weights that's what i do and i'm super weak so i've been doing that for the past six months now and i did notice a big difference leg day today and for this exercise i probably should have been a bit more explosive in pushing off but um the weight was a bit too heavy so i definitely did go down a weight